Welcome to FemFlex Friday. We talk a lot about the champion mindset and what it takes to get to the top. But what is the mindset for someone who's at the top as reigning champion in their sport each year? That's next level thinking. And with that, we are welcoming our guest, the best in the world, six times Miss Figure Olympia, Sid Gillen, and three times Olympia champion, Andrea Shaw. <laughs> Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh, it is. Because we get to see you on stage all the time, mm -hmm. see the body, the physique, but it's like, I'm always thinking, like, mindset. Right. What does it take to, you know, you win that first title, but to consistently, both of you consecutively, you've won and held that title. Nine world championships, like right here, mm -hmm. more with yeah. Rising Phoenix. Yeah. Let's, let's look at, um, let's first go and look at Sid. Let's play a video of Sid at the Olympia and just, Let's talk about this. So let's, let's first go into talking about like your mindset. It looks so, make it look so effortless. This, like your mindset, do you get butterflies? Tell us about this. To this day, I still get a little bit of butterflies before I go out, but it's not the same. Before, when I was first starting out on my Olympia journey, I was actually getting nervous and anxious. It was more so like of a, a sick feeling. Like my first Olympia, I probably gained 15 pounds in literally seconds before I walked out. Because mm -hmm. I was just, it was something that I had dreamt about for so long. Mm -hmm. And to see it actually come to fruition, it was just like, whoop, I just got scared. Mm -hmm. And literally my whole body from top to bottom just got hot. And I was like, well, mm -hmm. gonna go on out and do the best mm -hmm. I can and mm -hmm. hope for the best. Because at the point there was nothing else mm -hmm. I could do. So mm -hmm. shifting from nerves to just having a little bit of of excitement it's more of an excitement thing now to know mm -hmm. that i've worked 365 days for this moment and i'm ready to show you what i've progressed on and what i've been doing while everybody else was talking i'm going to show you the action that i put into this sport into myself into mm -hmm. those around me in order to make sure that i maintain my title mm -hmm. and how did this sixth title compare to the previous ones Who? <laughs> the sixth one this prep in general was just so different Okay. My coach and I, we've been together for seven years now. So this is probably like our, almost our 30th prep together. Okay. But it's been different than every single one. It was mm -hmm. to the point where this prep, I didn't even nap the whole time. I was getting up earlier and mm -hmm. earlier every day. My, ba my, my wake up time here is 5.30. It was to the point where I was getting up at 4.30, 4 o'clock, 3.30, like, all right, ready to go. Oh, mm -hmm. ready to go every single day during prep because it was a different type of light there was a different type of hunger knowing that again i'm trying to break world history again mm -hmm. i'm trying to top myself and mm -hmm. when you're trying to do that the body just wakes you up like it's, it's always a cliche thing of like your goals wake you up no they actually do 
Like, mm-hmm. I got my rest. My sleep score was excellent. Mm-hmm. Now let's go to work. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow. Yes. I love how you said that your goals wake you up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's not the alarm, yes. it's the goals. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was looking before my alarm mm-hmm. every single day. Mm-hmm. It was to the point where the prep was just so amazing and so different. We had to wonder, like, what's so different this year? And we couldn't really put a finger on it. But it was fascinating to watch because it was to the point where I was working so hard, but it was still calm at the same time. And then I wasn't taking naps at all. I didn't nap until the day before we were getting on stage mm-hmm. out of prep. And mm-hmm. mind you, I'm a napper. I'm a year-round napper. I nap in the <laughs> off-season all day long. I'm nap, nap, nap. But I had so much energy. I had so much fire and so much fight in me to mm-hmm. make sure that I was going to accomplish my goal. Mm-hmm. Did it come with something on top, something different, something new in your life, this title? I think it's just... I've gotten older. I've gotten mm-hmm. older and I'm recognizing now that I'm on the back end of my career. Mm-hmm. Being the underdog coming up and being able to knock out certain champions and get the title, that was the hard part. Maintaining it for the first half, that was hard too. Now I'm on the back half. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's it's my last years of just really having fun mm-hmm. and, and, and everything is just icing on the cake at this point. I've done what I wanted to do. I've accomplished um, everything that I wanted to accomplish in this sport. And now everything is just extra on top. And when mm-hmm. you think of it like that, it's just fun. You're waking up every day doing something that people are doing for, I would do for free, quite mm-hmm. honestly. I would do it just because, and I was doing it for free. Mm-hmm. Before I ever mm-hmm. received a check, I would still show up every day in the gym, bust my butt to make sure I was accomplish my goals without a check. Mm-hmm. So when you get a check behind that, money is always a motivator too. Mm-hmm. But I, yes, <laughs> right. winning, is, winning is great too, yes. but I like my money. Mm-hmm. So, right. But when you have that drive after you've already done it for free, you've already done it for so many years, it just gets better and better and it mm-hmm. just it's a reignite a reignition of just fun for me mm-hmm. and i think that has been a big difference this year everything was just it was fun mm-hmm. yeah. so fun is a big part of the champions mentality yes. Yes. And, uh, yes. <laughs> fun is definitely a big big part of that mm-hmm. that mindset let's go into playing um andrea's victory her third straight olympia now so impressive so talk to us as we watch this andrea like you, you're up there, everybody always talks about, you're always smiling. So are you nervous? What's going on? I typically only get just a little nervous right before I go out. Right before you um, go out. Yeah, because it, it's more of a, a, an excitement type of nervous. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that the time that Sid and I put in together, you mm-hmm. know, and I know that um, for me, by the time I get to the Olympia stage, I'm riding a super high. Mm-hmm. Um, fresh off that Rising Phoenix win, I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm ready to get out here and, and take my stage. Mm-hmm. I, that's where Sid, I take my you mind. helped her with the posing. Yeah, man, I'm supposed to see it. Ever since I've been winning. <laughs> ever since I've been winning. <laughs> they say it's so awesome, guys, that they work together. Yeah. You yeah. know, so she yeah. helped you with this posing routine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And every year we, we, we fine tune it. We make right. little detail changes. But mm-hmm. um, every year she takes a good look at, you know, what my physique is looking like. I usually tell her what I'm working on. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we just make sure that we dial in as much as I can, because now mm-hmm. by the time I get to the Olympia, she's already in her prep. So mm-hmm. we're typically not um, doing any sort of sessions together right. at that point. Mm-hmm. But, you know, my goal is always to get as much time in mm-hmm. um, with that Rising Phoenix. So mm-hmm. that's why when people ask me, are you you know going to continue to do the Rising Phoenix? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'd be crazy not to. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, the, the pitch in the vehicle. Yeah, right, right. It's a huge plus. <laughs> yes. Um, but I know that that helps my body get itself primed and ready mm-hmm. for the Olympia. Mm-hmm. So, but you guys now, you know, that's the physical and working on posing routines. Being champions, mm-hmm. how, because I don't think I've ever been in a position where I had a friend or someone I could talk to, you know, that really understands what it's like to be in that position. Mm-hmm. Like, tell me about that. Like, I'm, I talk more to her than she talks <laughs> to me. She's, yeah. she's been through this like yeah, three right. additional but times than me. That, but know. yeah, I mean, it's a huge, it's a huge relief mm-hmm. because there, we've had conversations where it's just been about, okay, you got to really, and we still have them yeah. to this day. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. got to learn to say no to certain things because mm-hmm. she knows I got a good heart. But at the same time, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, we are making sure that when we get to January thir- to December 31st, mm-hmm. January 1, mm-hmm. we are comfortable with what we accomplished for that year. Mm-hmm. So when we look back, it's like, okay, did you do your best? Did you give your best? Because at the end of the day, nobody's on that stage except you. That's, That's right. true. Right? So it's a matter of making sure you stay dialed in, 
you have to stay focused. It's, it's going to be fun, but you still got to put in the work. That's right. And every year when we look at, okay, yeah, last year's look was great, but how can we make this year's look better? Mm -hmm. And how was this year for you? It was amazing. It was the third win. It how, was how did you like your shape, or what would you what would you discuss about it? I mean, I, I love the shape that I brought, mm -hmm. and um, we had a unique situation this year where um, I did go with um, Damien for some off-season guidance, and that mm -hmm. helped okay. me tremendously. Okay. Yeah. And I felt really good about this year. So I'm actually looking forward to, the, to well, last year. Yeah. This year, um, you know, because Damien and I have gotten back to the drawing board of okay checking in and making mm -hmm. sure that and you know John Sim is my coach um, for training we're you know just working on legs more so it's just come bringing it all together mm -hmm. so I'm the excitement grows for me every year because I want to see just how much better I can get with everything um, mm -hmm. whether it's you know my performance for prejudging mm -hmm. as well as finals mm -hmm. so I've gotten some stretching people involved with finals <laughs> so uh -huh. um, I, I'm planning some really fantastic finals um, wows this year uh -huh. so as you were heading into the shows into the rising phoenix and olympia how was what was your mental focus what were you focusing on the most important thing right what would you visualize winning every day uh -huh. every day i have a certain amount of time that i spend every single day writing out my goals my top five mm -hmm. goals the top two are always to become miss rising phoenix mm -hmm. 2020 i say miss rising phoenix mm -hmm. but you know the rising phoenix mm -hmm. champion um for 2020 two at that point um this year is 2023 and then miss olympia for 2023 so mm -hmm. i mean every day i just dial my head right into what it is that i know that i can accomplish and need to accomplish mm -hmm. and writing it down is like the first layer speaking it out loud is yeah. like my second layer so i always make sure that i make my goals um audible to mm -hmm. my own self because when i hear it come back to me yeah it just reaffirms the fact that i know that you know these are the steps that i need to take to make this happen mm -hmm. this is not something that's outside of me it's within my control mm -hmm. so it is because it is first in your imagination Absolutely. right in your thoughts and then you write it down and then you say it out loud mm -hmm. and then you bring it to reality absolutely mm -hmm. and i keep a vision board so mm -hmm. i mean every year I, I sit down at the end of the year you know take off you know the things that need to come off put on the things that need to come on I love mm -hmm. that. and again it's something that i keep before me i look at it when i wake up during my meditation time i mm -hmm. speak it out loud write it down and before i go to bed mm -hmm. it's right there i can mm -hmm. look at it reference it again because this again is what gets me out of bed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i'm, I'm looking to, to make sure that. it makes it makes yeah. a, a history for me. Mm -hmm. I want to look back when I'm 50, 60 years right. old and say, I'm mm -hmm. so glad mm -hmm. that I stuck with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just consistent. Mm -hmm. So what I'm so impressed with is that with each of you, like with my Olympias, I just competed in Olympia. Mm -hmm. We didn't have as many shows or, mm -hmm. or, or you have them and you make that decision. Mm -hmm. But I remember first, like Sid, when you competed at the Arizona Pro. Mm -hmm. And then I believe you had about maybe two weeks mm -hmm. into the Olympia. It was usually, so I won, so Arizona Pro, I did won three years in a row, and it was always like five days into the Olympia. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Wow. Five days, five mm -hmm. day turnaround. And I loved it. And the same with Dre doing Rising Phoenix before, mm -hmm. it did something for my body. It was like, all right, after that point, we're ready to roll. Mm -hmm. I would have a cheat meal, and it was like, ooh, refresher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. next five days lose five pounds mm -hmm. yes. because you had that stress loss off of you. Okay. You've already seen what your look is on stage. You already know five days from now, you're gonna mm -hmm. look way better. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how my coach and I went into it now. And now we don't need pre-shows mm -hmm. as you've seen in the last couple of years, but it was good for me to get the kinks off because it was so many gaps mm -hmm. between shows and so many things we were still trying to learn about mm -hmm. our partnership together, what my body does, how my body reacts to fats, how my body reacts to a certain amount of carbs, all those things mm -hmm. played a role into me mm -hmm. being able to bring my best package mm -hmm. the week later so the okay. pre-show definitely helps well, me I back in the day yeah. i love that yeah and then what about you well it definitely takes a, it's a, it's a strong mindset i mm -hmm. feel really more is. pressure going into the rising phoenix every year versus the olympia oh, really yeah. every year because this is when you, the sh you reveal the shape to yourself mm -hmm. exactly right? to the world exactly. Right. So right. It, it, and my thought always goes to is my body you know going to reveal all the work that i, I right. the efforts where right. i put them mm -hmm. and then yeah i mean I, a lot of pressure but again it, it's self-imposed pressure mm -hmm. um back when i lost my job in 2020 i told myself that you know what it, i if I could do this full time mm -hmm. and make a living off mm -hmm. of it, I would be happy mm -hmm. and I would do it. Mm -hmm. And this is what I thank God I get a chance to do. I get yeah. to do it. I don't 
have to do it, mm -hmm. I get to do it. Mm -hmm. right. So when you look at mm -hmm. it like that, that's, and it, I tell people, you're going to work. Whether you work in 40 hour weeks, right. 50 hour weeks, mm -hmm. whether, or whether you take in four months out of your year and, and prepping for a show, you're going to work mm -hmm. either way it goes. Mm -hmm. But I love this work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. yeah, everything right. in this life is all about what you put into that's it, right? right? Mm -hmm. And the amount of work and the focus and the motivation mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. that you put in, mm -hmm. it's going to show results. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys, when you stepped on the stage, both, you know, for Arizona, right out before the Olympia and then you um, you guest posed yes. mm -hmm. in Savannah yes. mm -hmm. and you did and Alina and I sitting in the audience and and first thing for me is it's like wow you know I remember guest posing and maybe six weeks out from the Olympia and it's almost like like it's so much noise uh -huh. everybody's mm -hmm. giving you their advice uh -huh. you shouldn't compete you uh -huh. shouldn't do this you should do that and again like to the audience out there like that mindset the strength that it takes for you being the reigning champion mm -hmm. and your um you interact with the best in the world at judging expediters mm -hmm. everybody's got an opinion alina and i we have an opinion on film flex friday we're waiting everybody has and an opinion right and, you know what i mean yeah. so i mean mm -hmm. i i see that and yeah. i'm just like wow just really super impressed yeah yeah thank you thank you yeah so yeah we have to take it the mindset though right yeah. really at the end of the day what really matters is what you and your coach mm -hmm. right. are, are talking about mm -hmm. right so yep. you find a way to say okay you know what i appreciate the opinion i value it <laughs> we, we love the good comments mm -hmm. um but everybody has an opinion sometimes they aren't the, the most positive but again what you and the coach have decided to come together it's a team mm -hmm. right that's and what right. you put together is what matters okay mm -hmm. and that's well, a large part of what of like how i carry myself through preps anyway because everybody knows I do a silent thing. I've always been silent. So I don't yeah. talk a lot about anything, mm -hmm. especially going into shows. I just get more silent. Mm -hmm. And I make sure that you don't have the opportunity to see what I'm doing. So you're just mm -hmm. going to be guessing mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. until you're on stage. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot of that noise out because mm -hmm. you have nothing to base it off of. Mm -hmm. You're basing it off of a look that I don't even look like anymore. Mm -hmm. So what you're chasing is off a look that I don't look like anymore, mm -hmm. so it's, it's baseless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when yeah. you're able to find ways to remove that noise, that's how you're able to progress. And if there is noise, when you find ways to ignore it and navigate it, mm -hmm. your life will still mm -hmm. remain your life instead of the, the opinions of others. Mm -hmm. okay. I do believe that in your uh, situation, your position, ladies, right now, there is no outside noise anymore. You've done it so many times mm -hmm. and you proved over and over again, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's only if you know about yourself, that's if right. you notice mm -hmm. that something is not good or something is not, is not reacting as you want, that's when those uh, those voices start right. to get mm -hmm. to you. Because mm -hmm. if you're confident, everything responds mm -hmm. and you know your product, that's right. That's it. right? That's you have it. nothing to fear. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that feeds right into the being happy right before you go out on yeah. stage. Because mm -hmm. yeah. again, you put all this work in. We, we I mean, we're, we're made up, we're dialed up, we got the most beautiful suits on, and it's like, yeah, this is what I've been working on, and yeah. we're going to show the world. That's yes. Right. Well, we're going to take a quick break and come back and hear some more about showing the world. We'll be back. You diet down, train hard, and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan. Number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro Tan. And we are back with Sid Gillen and Andrea Shaw, best in the world currently. Oh, gosh. I want to get into this video you did um, and talk about, like, appearances throughout the year and you did a guest appearance for us at the savannah pro yes. and with the help of sid you did you help her put that one so, together no this we one's have, rachel. Uh, rachel rachel do her routine routines mm -hmm. i don't have enough time in my day for mm -hmm. the routine okay routine. yeah yeah that's a not a session that's a week's work uh -huh. long process yeah. of mm -hmm. outside work so i get it to somebody else yeah with this. so this one is uh, rachel daniels okay let's roll it So mysterious. I loved it when you walked out. I was like, ooh. Well, you know that the red is your collar. It, it is. is. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is. 
And uh, Bikini Hawaii Lab uh, actually put this oh, together yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. um, the guest posing suit was amazing, so mm -hmm. huge thank you to them. I like how you were just patient and you you sat there. And I'm looking at her shoulders. I'm like, yeah, look at them shoulders. Shoulders, <laughs> arms, I'm looking at the chest. Mm -hmm. Everything pops. And we were about and eight weeks out at this more. point. you want to see more. Eight weeks right? out, yes. Mm -hmm. The abs were all dialed in nicely, small waist. Yeah. And uh, just a couple days beforehand, I did a, a little mini depletion, mm -hmm. um, just like I would do for a competition. Nothing crazy, just yeah. about four days. But um, the excitement for this guest posing was, mm -hmm. I mean, it was almost surreal. Um, it was almost was so like a excited. preview of your right. shape for yes. 2022. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we try to tell people, you know, when you're guest posing, you don't need to be stage ready, but you shouldn't be out of shape. Right, of course, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was very happy with this. I think this was the result of, you know, sticking to a very consistent off-season plan. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I'm starting even earlier this year, so I'm super excited to see mm -hmm. um, what type of shape we bring, because that's this year's goal, mm -hmm. shape. So when do you guys cut off appearances? Usually about eight weeks out for me, um, and maybe a little more for Sydney, but that's what I used to do. I think this year we're going to um, have to add a little more time onto that, mm -hmm. only because I really want to have um, that consistency in my routine. Mm -hmm. So I really would prefer at this point to cut it off at about 10 or 12 weeks. Yeah. About 10, 10 to 12, 10 to 12 weeks. weeks. Mm -hmm. And that's just what I've gotten to, because once I moved to Arizona, I don't move from here mm -hmm. at that point. Because back in the day, I was still doing guest appearances up to three weeks out mm -hmm. before the Olympia. Mm -hmm. Never again. After the last yeah. one I did, I said mm -hmm. never again. Mm -hmm. And that was going from leaving from Arizona, going to an appearance in Florida, mm -hmm. and then coming back. So I'm yeah. traveling. Th there was no reason for me to be doing that. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yes, I want to be supportive of everything. I'm supportive mm -hmm. year round, but it has to be that time where you have to recognize that you're trying to accomplish a goal and those asking you to be certain places have to understand mm -hmm. we have something we have to do mm -hmm. and adding travel and adding all that stress to the body mm -hmm. is not conducive to what I'm trying to do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, if they want us to be somewhere, we got to do it around earlier, the time frame where we can, where we can yeah. do it. And some people, yeah. I mean, the recipe for success here is consistency, That's right? right. Consistency so and you, focus. Yeah, yeah, you step on a plane. Yes, you have your meals ready as right. best as you can, but right. anything could happen. It That's will right. distract you. And yes. then, then if you have yourself in a situation um, where your meals are, who knows what? Maybe mm -hmm. they spill. Spoiled, Somebody spilled. Yeah. yeah. Away. Now you have to figure out what is going to be the plan B. So mm -hmm. um, for me, this last past year, I started traveling with an air fryer I know that's right so I, wow. I, I got an air fryer <laughs> I and I one. yes I actually <laughs> brought it to the rising Phoenix because I actually ran out of fish um, but it was okay <laughs> it was okay I so I said I, I had to I had to go to Walmart I had to get me some fish I mean the air fryer and then I had mm -hmm. to uh, get me some fish and then I had to mm -hmm. just figure out Girl, what I was, I was gonna do to I hope you didn't get your fish at Walmart <laughs> no, if no, Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> no, I was like wait a minute Costco is where we where we get or Whole Foods okay yes but yeah, no I mean, um, just just a matter of you know, again, it wasn't something that I planned on doing, but yeah. at the at the drop of that dime, mm -hmm. I had to okay pivot because yeah. I cannot run the risk That's or right. or gamble mm -hmm. when I'm I'm days away from the stage, and right? I think, you know, I think that this comes with the territory, with yeah. all the experience of being a champion and then being a, a polished professional. Mm -hmm. You know yourself, you know what your body takes, mm -hmm. you know you need that tunnel vision. That's mm -hmm. right, and you're not doing the things you would still do, you do in the first year when That's you want. Right. To have all the exposure, yeah, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. and you need to be flexible. Yeah. I mean, yeah. throughout this, even this last past year, I've talked to Sydney about certain things that I wanted to implement. Mm -hmm. um, because I noticed in her, they've been successful for her, so I'm like, okay, you know what? Social media time, okay, we can do that, check. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> let's travel, check. Yeah, I mean, that's, right. and it's good. And right. when you start to implement it and you're open to it and you see the success from it, and how much more you're, you're, you're relaxed, you're mm -hmm. dialed much more into mm -hmm. what you're doing on the hour by hour basis, just by eliminating those small things. It 
it's mm -hmm. like, okay, this is how she's able to make it to six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yeah. is exactly how she's able to make it to six mm -hmm. and beyond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we wanted to ask about actually your social media engagement. How mm -hmm. do you deal with that? How you, There's a how lot. How do you navigate right? How do you navigate through it? Lot. Planning. Lots and lots of planning, especially the most planning comes with Olympia weekend. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. think, for us especially, mm -hmm. Olympia weekend's a lot, but for the reigning champions or whoever wins that weekend, mm -hmm. it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to get your time together where it's to the point where my first title, I've made this plan. I'm like, I'm going to take an hour a day to respond to comments. Mm -hmm. You have 3,000 plus comments. You have 3,000 plus DMs. And I'm the type of person, I'm responding to everybody. Mm -hmm. If I wow. see it, I'm responding yeah. to everybody. You it respond. Was, yeah. Everybody. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Everybody. Yeah, absolutely. I try to just, t I preface it. I tell them, I need three to four days to get caught up. <laughs> because y'all got to understand, we're busy, yeah. right? That's we got amazing. interviews, Good we got photo you. shoots typically. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, there's still that downtime where we're reconnecting with our family right, exactly. afterwards. So yeah, I try to just tell people what to expect. Cause I mean, mm -hmm. if I don't tell them what to expect is right, then okay, they have legitimate gripe to say, oh, well you, you didn't respond. Mm -hmm. But yeah, three <laughs> to four days is usually a good window because again, an hour a day doesn't seem like much, but it's a lot. you find a way to get a lot yeah. done in that I hour. I thought you were just <laughs> responding to me cause I was Miss Olympia, but you're responding to everyone. Oh, yeah. no, I definitely you know that's that special. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely respond to people who I know know. Yeah, okay. and yeah. then of course your supporters will come through but even you know them really well because usually it's the same people, same people. who've been with you yeah. mm -hmm. before you have loyal followers mm -hmm. exactly loyal followers. They, been with they you mean a lot they, yeah, they mean yeah. a lot and yeah. so I'm gonna mm -hmm. make sure you took time to come out and comment on my page yeah. I'm gonna make the time to make sure you know and you're aware that I saw your comment I appreciate your comment mm -hmm. and then I can like as many as, as possible because once it gets to like a thousand plus comments. Uh, yeah. You just yeah. gotta, you, I'll read and I'll like, like, like. If it's yeah. a certain thing you can respond to that needs a response. If it's a congratulations, you have to kind of strategize mm. how to just heart it and just do an overall thank mm. you. Yeah. But you have to place that time because that will suck you in and it goes above an hour. Back then it was an hour. Mm. Title number six is, it's our words. Uh, yeah, plural. And so like, <laughs> if you're going on a walk, it's like, all right, let me do this while I'm walking. Mm -hmm. So that way you're kind of still doing and multitasking, getting your steps in, keeping mm -hmm. all that moving but you're still mm. being able to respond to the people who mm. are supporting yeah. and uplifting you. And it's still mm -hmm. important, right? Because yeah. without the fans mm -hmm. coming yeah. and right. supporting, whether it's buying the live stream yep. or actually coming to the show, right? Um, we, we can get on the stage, but it's the fans that really make the show. That's mm -hmm. right. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and we have to always find that that time to give back to them. So, mm. yeah. And how do you ladies uh, deal with the negativity? Obviously, going through all these messages, so there's going to be somebody. Block button. Block button. <laughs> block, <laughs> block, <laughs> block button. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's my one of the best features. Okay. Yes. Yes. You're Lock. not welcome yeah. in my that's world. It. Yes. Goodbye. Yes. The, 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 okay. The, the, there's a way to dismiss people without saying a word. Oh, I love <laughs> it. So the way I go about it is if I have to question whether you meant that maliciously or you were being nice, okay. if I have to question it, block. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it should be, oh, you're great. Yeah. Da -da. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Anything that seems a little bit shady, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have time to decipher whether there or not you you're going to come for me. Yeah. So I'm just going to block you. Mm -hmm. We're going to move you. Chances are, if that gray area exists, you it's see what negative. I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So you, I should be literally, you do not mm -hmm. allow that kind of negativity no. into your Absolutely. life, and no. you don't spend a single yeah. moment using your energy. And that's also in that. person. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes oh, yes. if you're at certain shows and you start to just engage in conversation with people, mm -hmm. you can pick up very quickly where their their intentions lie. Yeah. Right. You may not know fully, but you get the vibe. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, you know what? We're going to keep it short, keep it brief, and keep it moving. Mm, so, yeah. Or not talk moving. at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> smile and wave. Do, 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 do. My good Go friend, Sean Rowe, just smile and wave. <laughs> <laughs> She's nicer than me. I'm not waving. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I'm gonna just move on. <laughs> Keep moving. That, that's just impressive. But that's My part of the God. champion mindset too. You have True. to safeguard yeah. your space. That's right. Mm -hmm. Champions need to safeguard their mental mm -hmm. space. Because yeah. if you lose in your head, that's right. You lost. That's it. If you <laughs> win in your head, you've won. Mm -hmm. So totally. again, you have to be vigilant about that. And sometimes that includes people who are you know around. Like I've had to. Tell some family members, hey, look, hey. I love you. Oh, that's so true. But you gotta we, go. we, I, I will get back with you <laughs> when I complete this mission mm -hmm. because yeah. it's that important. Because mm -hmm. you're at work, you're taking care of it. business. That's, that's right. right. And people will not always understand you. And it's that's okay. Right. They yeah. don't have to understand yeah. right. you. And, you're and doing if, I, if I'm looking for somebody who understands me, I can call. That's right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's right. right. But yeah, yeah that, that's important too. Mm -hmm. I mean, because again, if you keep that door even slightly cracked, 
Mm-hmm. It's only a matter of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you cannot have you doubts can... about yourself, mm-hmm. right? But it's even it goes even to another level because even with my family, they know. When I'm at four to three weeks out, don't tell me about Uncle Bob. Don't tell me about <laughs> Betty Sue. Don't tell me if the if the lights ain't cutting on. Don't tell me if we missed the bill. <laughs> don't right. tell me nothing. That's, don't that's tell me right. anything. That's right. mm-hmm. You can tell me after I get after, off stage. After. Mm-hmm. Until then, I don't care. I literally go straight mm-hmm. mode. Mm-hmm. That's my yeah. husband. That's my mom. I talk to my parents every day mm-hmm. for hours mm-hmm. religiously if there's ever a time where i feel like the conversation go up oh, gotta get out the phone love yeah. you i'll talk yeah. to you later oh, yeah. i don't that's anybody yeah. Yeah. i created an avenue for my mom so i said hey if you want to talk come and do this cardio with me Ooh. oh yeah get it. So I, yeah yeah so oh, she complied <laughs> she doesn't do it a lot <laughs> but she got the message she's like okay well i know she this probably is... takes notes and has oh, this yeah. long list oh, and then yeah. comes on the treadmill and, and she, keeps right. <laughs> this has to be the best conversation on mindset. Oh. I just knew it was going to be deep. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to like, be strategic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Strategic. Strategic. Strategic because people don't realize and like, um, you know, going up to that first Olympia or your competition, like, it's almost like, I mean, people care, but it's amazing how much people like all of a sudden they care, care. Yeah. And you're invested all of a sudden. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm like, dude, yeah. like, I got to keep doing what I did That's prior right. to winning. Mm-hmm. And this is That's what it. I did. So I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. That's right. right. We got to yeah. keep it real. And you That's have right. to apply that pressure. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to do that for you. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to mm-hmm. do that for you. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, do are you okay with, again, the show is over. If you didn't do as well as you know you should have, mm-hmm. can does that set well with right. you? Mm-hmm. That, that don't set well with me. Mm-hmm. After my first mm-hmm. rise in Phoenix, no. Mm-hmm. No, and, but it was a learning lesson. Yeah, but I knew. Course. I said, no, mm-hmm. no, we can't do that again. <laughs> no, not when you know that there's better. Right. And yeah. a champion, I think, has to keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. You, if you know that your mm-hmm. excellent level is here, you can't go below that. That's right. Mm-hmm. So people, you have to find a way to bring people up to where you are. That's right. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, it's not broke. You don't need to fix That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you about that. I'm really curious. What was your hardest prep, ladies, and why? Oh, that was my second Olympia win. That prep mm. was hell. It was pure hell. I was, I had expedited, I went back to school. My first Olympia win, I went back to school. I started my master's degree at USC. I moved cross country at the same time and it was the first time being away from my family after I graduated from college. So you add that on there, I win that one. It's like, okay, this is the, this is the peak of when figure was making its full shift. So mm-hmm. competition was stiff, stiff, stiff. I'm talking about switching left and right, left and right. Mm-hmm. You gotta be up on your toes hard, mm-hmm. everybody. So it was so much pressure to make sure that I retained that title the next time. But at the same time, nobody else was doing what I was doing. Nobody's going for their second degree. Nobody's worried about making mm-hmm. sure they're getting straight A's. Nobody's moving across the country mm-hmm. right eight weeks out before a show. Nobody's doing mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So I'm adding all these layers on and I'm in the middle of midterms and it's time to get on stage. Mm-hmm. And I'm literally like it was it was to the point where. I, I could barely walk because I, if you add in all these things of going from being mobile in college when you're walking across campus, you're now mobile when you move back to Georgia, hey, but don't nobody walk in the South. We, mm-hmm. this, this, we drive everywhere. <laughs> so then you move back to LA, you're walking, walking, walking. Now I have to be cognizant of all my injuries from the past coming back from track days. And now it's like, do I have enough art supports in my shoes? I was walking in flat shoes. That trickled up from my calf getting tight. That added into bursitis. Now my hamstrings hurt. Now I can't even walk to class. I have to lift to class. So it's like, okay, I have fastest sprints in the morning. I can't sprint, but I'm still gonna sprint anyway because I still have the athlete mentality of, if I'm not dead, I'm gonna still try to do it. <laughs> I don't care if I pull something I'm doing, I'm just gonna try to do it and hope for the best. So I was sprinting when I couldn't even walk. So it was like the, the fact that your body was literally shutting down on you from all these new things you were adding on to it and you're still trying to get a title and still trying to get straight A's mm-hmm. and you're a perfectionist on top of it. So it's like a lot of things are happening. It's wow. like, oh. Mm-hmm. So literally it was one day where it was probably like 9 p.m. My classes were all late because we were all working um, students. And so I just sit there in the middle of USC's campus and I just cried and cried and cried and cried. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, suck it up, buttercup. Let's go. Yeah, and then it. eventually it got to the, I got, I got through it, but it was so bad to where, cause I have scoliosis and lordosis too. Mm-hmm. So all those things trickling from just my fallen arches to my bursitis mm-hmm. trickled up to my traps and escalated my scoliosis even worse mm-hmm. to the point where I'm getting massaged out before I even go on stage mm-hmm. at the Olympia, literally mm-hmm. backstage. 
And it was to the point where my shoulder just kept creeping and creeping and creeping. And I'm little, I had to hold okay, my front yeah, pose yeah. like this, <laughs> but I, there was, it was involuntary. There's nothing I could do about it. So from the mental aspect to the physical, the whole prep was just shot. <laughs> I was like, please wow. just get me to the end of the day. And when I won, I was like, praise Jesus. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's over. Wow. We got it done. Yeah. But wow. ever since that, that was probably the worst overall because it was so much life mm -hmm. and so much of the sport piled onto myself. I wasn't worried about anybody else. Mm -hmm. It was just me being a perfectionist and making sure that at all times I'm doing the best I can. And I did the best I could with what I had, mm -hmm. but I knew it was not my best if I was at my healthiest. Mm -hmm. So that was yeah. wow. was a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing's wow. ever been that bad. After yes. That. <laughs> yeah. And of your three, number three. Yeah, number three was number the three hardest. Was the hardest. I um now back in 2020 and 2021, I just ate what I wanted right off the stage. Mm -hmm. Did no restraint. Mm -hmm. Um and with 2022 rolling around, I got to a point where I was uncomfortable. Like I was tipping the scale. I think at about 206. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm not comfortable. I'm mm -hmm. starting to feel like, okay, what am I gonna do? Because I'm not liking what I'm looking back at it in the mirror. <laughs> and so yeah. um, a friend of mine told me about some cl a cleanse. It's an over-the-counter remedy. Um, they sell it at like Vitamin Shop, GNC. Mm -hmm. It's literally called The Cleanse. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the ingredients and I'm like, okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything harmful in it. A whole bunch of herbs and you know, I mean, I'm, I'm like, at this point about four months from the stage, right? Cause we were in October of yeah. that year. So I'm like, okay, it's January. I'm like, man, I need to try to lean out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I take this cleanse. Now the recommended dosage was um, four pills. Started off with one and then over the course of two days, then I added it to a second one. I'm like, okay. But then I started feeling like I was having an allergic reaction from the inside. Mm. And I'm like, okay, I, I gotta stop taking this. And uh, I woke up one night um, in January and I had chest pain and it was bad. Well, I was afraid. Of course. Very afraid. Um, and then I went to the doctor and, you know, he looks at the medication and he's like, well, you know, I, the FDA doesn't regulate this stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a, a supplement called Don Quai or an herb. And it's been known to cause arrhythmias. Okay. Mm. And so um, I ended up having to see two cardiologists. I wore a halter monitor for seven days and another one for 30 days. Um, I had a cardiac MRI done, um, stress tests, uh, two echocardiograms, because I, I, it felt like my heart was skipping a beat. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, okay, how in the world am I getting ready to do this cardio? At, at my, as a bodybuilder, I absolutely have to do cardio. This is yeah. not an option. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's when, thank God for Damien. Damien came <laughs> in um, and you know, he's like, all right, well, let's just get you started with something. And then we'll start to just slowly work our way. Cause again, I think that, and this was something that I think all, many athletes struggle with, right? You get so lean. And mm -hmm. then after the show, it's like, there's this lull, there's the holidays and it was like, I just, I let myself get out of control. Mm -hmm. And so that became a big lesson for me last mm -hmm. year was, if you follow a solid off season plan, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be deprived. You're gonna get cheat meals. Mm -hmm. It's And you think one would know, mm -hmm. but th again, following, when you know better, you do better. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so, so that's where structure. following that structure, mm -hmm. and I need that. I think at this point, I'm ready to accept the fact that I need it that structure mm -hmm. because if you let me just go I'm gonna be yeah, like I'm uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean I can put the food away right. <laughs> exactly. and so yeah I mean that, that's when and, and it was just a slow progression so I started um, tracking my workouts because again after going to school for uh, exercise science I know certain things when it comes to tracking mm -hmm. my heart rate being in the optimal zone things like that so I started to just document it and I documented you know how much cardio how long the intensity what levels and then I slowly just started to progress mm -hmm. so I'm going through these exercise journals and I'm like okay at a certain point I knew I'm like okay we're gonna be all right mm -hmm. and once I had that cardiac MRI done in about June then I knew I said okay we're, we're good to, mm -hmm. to go but it was it was an eye-opening mm -hmm. it was written mm -hmm. it was very scary mm -hmm. very scary because again I mean when it comes to certain parts of the body, you don't, you, some things can rejuvenate, right? right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank God, it, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. past it now, but the lesson is nothing's gonna absolutely offset or replace mm -hmm. moderation. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna be a champion, now when I retire, 
Okay, that might be something different. <laughs> yeah. But if I'm going to continue to be champion, I have to make sure I implement that discipline. That's right. There you go. And build your team, and yes, then you win. It's not who. <laughs> yes, right. All right, so ladies, we're going to come back. We're going to take a break, and we'll talk about you as entrepreneurs. Okay. All right, we'll be back. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm gonna grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. Okay, we are back. And Whitney Jones, three times Olympia fitness champion, joins us. Yes, thank you guys were having so much fun. Oh I thought, God. man, I gotta join this party. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I wanna hear about the upcoming uh, endeavor that you guys are all, it's so exciting. So exciting. So exciting, mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, so exciting. the Triple O Dynasty. Yeah. Yes. Triple O? That's yes, right. Triple O. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, I'm really curious who came up with this idea. Well, uh -huh. <laughs> the brains, but that's where you got to be careful what you tell her. Because yeah. I told her, I said I would love to get a pro am show, and before I knew it, yeah. I got <laughs> that call. Hey, girl. Yeah. Said, hey. <laughs> a day later, I'm on it. Set. Let's go. Wow. So that's it great. came about after everybody saw the changes to the Arnold schedule and everything like that. Women's mm -hmm. bodybuilding had already been taken away years ago. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, I was like, why, why is women's bodybuilding never at the Arnold? And then two years, they did figure, took away figure, then they took away women's physique, then they took away figure and women's physique. And I was like, oh, I see something <laughs> oh. happening here. Okay, got yep. it. So I said, instead of being a social media warrior, I was like, we can just actually make changes yeah. mm -hmm. and create another show for these categories mm -hmm. that are often ostracized and kind of mm -hmm. downplayed. It is mm -hmm. what it is. They are. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Um, so that's when I came up with the name of Triple O Dynasty. And I was like, mm. I want to include women's bodybuilding. I love women's bodybuilding. My mom loves women's bodybuilding. That's where we all started. We wouldn't be here without yep. women's bodybuilding, so why would you not include them? Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, Drea, mm, got an idea. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Drea's like, I'm down. I'm like, all right, cool, okay. Like, oh, say no more. <laughs> yes. So we're going through, it. going through, and then like so many things transpired, and I said, we knew that it would be great to have somebody like Whitney who has the biggest show in Arizona here. Mm -hmm. She's already been promoting longer than I have, mm -hmm. too. I have my own show in Georgia, but Whitney's been here, mm -hmm. and they need another show, and we knew Whitney would be a great partner to bring that on, and she was the triple to the O mm -hmm. that I wanted to just represent everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the triple to the O. So that's when we came up with this team, and we have now Miss Olympia Women's Physique, who is yeah. sponsoring the Women's Physique category. Mm -hmm. So we have four Olympia winners wow. trying to make sure that these three categories that have been downplayed have a space to keep mm -hmm. flourishing and keep growing mm -hmm. and they have that the extra show that they mm -hmm. wanted early in the year. So yeah. again, which divisions will be? It will be professional women's bodybuilding, professionals figure, and professional women's physique. Mm -hmm. And then we have amateur classes for everybody. But the main classes where our focus on and where this started was to uplift those three women's categories mm -hmm. that have the most muscle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that people mm -hmm. still understand that muscle is beautiful and we are just mm -hmm. as amazing as everybody else that competes yeah. in this industry. Yeah. And truthfully, Absolutely. too, to add to that, the Arnold was kind of the kickoff to the yeah. season. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. for the pro athletes, when you don't have that, yeah. it's it's depressing, you know? Yeah. So there's mm -hmm. now another outlet. The show was always planned to be in the spring yeah. in Arizona. Yeah. So it's a solution mm -hmm. to those divisions that now mm -hmm. are not part of the Arnold because they're mm -hmm. still now the Triple O dynasty that will be an epic show. I mean, come on. And How can it not be? be? <laughs> the kickoff that they're looking for. Yeah. That yes. makes a great point. The fact that it's during that time in the early part yes. of the season. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, because I think with women's physique and women's bodybuilding, we had to wait like until, mm, like, until like what? May. Yes. Until yeah. May. So yeah, this is yeah. this is like very important. I mean, some yeah. athletes really prefer the um, early and fast approach, right? Mm -hmm. um, I know that was my case when um, 2020 came around, right? I wanted to get into the very first show. Yeah. I wanted to qualify for the Olympia. That way, I can be on coast until mm -hmm. my coach mm -hmm. and I decided that's, that it was time right. to yeah. you know pull the trigger on the next like phase of, of mm -hmm. prep. So for those athletes who are planners, right, <laughs> and they want that that ideal time yeah. to go ahead and get into a show. Um, and that way they can just, again, they're qualified, they can just coast right into mm -hmm. whatever the game plan is gonna be mm -hmm. for the, the big stage. Um, mm -hmm. We've 
provided that mm-hmm. for them. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of people who just take bad news in the industry yes. and they run with it. Well, yes. let's find solutions. Exactly. You know, we yeah. want to provide opportunity, something mm-hmm. good right. to combat you know the bad or the negativity right. we always are about supporting the industry and again kind of using our platforms using our knowledge and what we can do this was a solution mm-hmm. to hopefully exactly. silence some of the negativity yeah mm-hmm. right. because the negativity people can always find something exactly. to complain about that's yeah. right yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It, I mean let's be honest we didn't get to where we are by getting into the habit of complaining yeah oh girl don't yeah that's right that's right yeah. that's right on and point. do hardships they do make you stronger in they the do. end of the day for sure right? they do mm-hmm. yeah. and when things like that arise right you find a way to b- have the ingenuity come forth right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that's where yeah when she mentioned it I said absolutely I'm mm-hmm. on board so what vision do you have for this show what do you want it to be on the long run on the long one, I want it to be not just a replacement for the Arnold. Mm-hmm. We are trying to build something that is ours in itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you think about our show, mm-hmm. we don't want it to be compared. Mm-hmm. We're creating our own journey, our own space to make sure we're uplifting those women. And eventually, maybe in the future, we could talk about this, yeah. bring in all women's categories. But right mm-hmm. now, our focus mm-hmm. is on those three mm-hmm. to make sure they feel the love that they deserve yeah. and that they should have been having this entire yeah. time. Sure. They've existed. And they're a part of the dynasty. Mm-hmm. That's right. They're celebrated. That's mm-hmm. right. They're celebrated. I love the name. Yeah. 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 Yes. That I raised was her brain. Yep. Really. I dreamed it for my night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love my professor it. was like, you need to have a notebook by your bed when you yes. come with things. And I was like, say yes. less. I have a phone. I was like, oh, got a yes. name. That note section on the phone is golden. Yes. Yes. Name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You so. guys are going to have a lot of support. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got we, people already in my inbox. Exactly. Saying, I said, yeah. okay, well, what show are you doing? Oh, I'm doing your show. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. And right. just to clarify, wanted. it's 2024. So Four. that's when it yes. will officially yes. start. We would have yes. loved to have done it in 2023. Yes. But we like to do things right. That's right. And it takes time to plan. And to plan something yeah. amazing. If right. you want sure. to, rush, to do it right. right. See what Rush right. looks like. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Again, but we don't you, do anything. When you get on that lesson. stage, you you are going to know that we're there to celebrate you. Oh yeah. yes, that's the, that's what we you. convey to all the athletes that come mm-hmm. to our show. And you don't have to be just from Arizona for the NPC side. A lot of times it's crazy the misinformation out there. Yeah. This show's open to anyone and everyone. Yep. You know, whether it's, you know, we got people from Michigan coming to compete. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Michigan. We have people, I've been in talks with a lot of the people in Australia. They're getting teams together Mm -hmm. of their amateur athletes and their professional athletes in order to come over. I think this is the first time that we've had like three. Ever. Never, ever ever. ever been done. So history in the making. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Super great. Exactly. Yeah. Super great. I'm so looking forward to it. Oh, cool. You want to yeah. do a guest performance? Come on now, Miss yes, Ray. Let's oh, put you yes, on the spot. <laughs> Alina, you in? Come on, girls. Let's sure. uh, uh. do a guest Let's have some legends. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, this is a subtle way to change the topic, it seems, because you yeah. guys aren't yeah. jumping on the line. You don't even know how to respond to that. I know. You're, you're like, like, you're going to kill me later. <laughs> I understand. You're like, do you realize? Is that we are not in the off season, we are retired. <laughs> the topic of a presentation. Well, come on now, with the Masters Olympia coming exist. back, you know, there's talk of people coming out of retirement. Yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. I've watched with all this social media, I've seen some of my moves, and I'm like, okay, Linda, stop. <laughs> no, no more. Right, let go. Right. Let go. Oh, let go. <laughs> okay. Well, it's it's really uh, beautiful to to know that you ladies are doing this together yeah. it's absolutely amazing and yeah. I think it's very empowering mm-hmm. for a lot of women to know that they come they can come together and create something really beautiful yeah. uh, Thank you. really uh, significant and important for the industry mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. and like Sid said there are so many ideas floating around yes. it's gonna be hard to go all right we can't do everything right, on our first year, year yeah, out yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah got to be realistic mm-hmm. right, but yeah. yeah but you guys have a lot of experience so yes. you know you. you really know you know, it's going to be great it is. on the yeah, first it is. run. It is. Yeah. I know. Yeah. We're excited, guys. Um, we do have the page up. Um, DMs, if you've got questions, yes. um, our website. Um, again, we want to make sure that you know you're welcomed. So mm-hmm. um, if you've got questions, we welcome that. And then after the first year, you know, we may be open to suggestions. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're, we're always looking to improve. Mm-hmm. We're, we're like 
obsessed. And yeah, I want to reiterate too that this is not just a woman show. Yeah. So NPC yeah. men, you are mm -hmm. welcome. I already have a lot of people coming yeah. over from Georgia yeah. who we plan on doing class yeah. physique and men's physique and men's bodybuilding. So make sure you men, you show out too if you mm -hmm. are wanting to support us and be there in solidarity, whether it's in the audience, whether that's giving us donations, sponsorships, mm -hmm. to make sure that we can build on the prize money too, to make sure that our women are getting paid more and more. Mm -hmm. So all those things are important. That's eventually the goal we want. We want to just have more yeah, for sure. us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, Triple O Dynasty, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, mm -hmm. and comment. Yes. yes. Like, follow, subscribe, all of us ladies film flex friday yes that's Dynasty. Right. and they respond to <laughs> messages yes that's so right. reach out and they also right. block yeah that's right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah Red and if, if not us then our admin staff will be sure to get back with you uh -huh. <laughs> all right guys thank you for joining us here at film flex friday thank you ladies thank and you. for another episode it is a wrap